Now that we've seen how electric fields and the electric force work, let's look at how magnetic fields and the magnetic force work. Electric fields spread away from or into charged particles. Magnetic fields are rather different in that they circle around moving charged particles. The equation for the magnetic field created by a single charged particle is similar to the equation for the electric field. First, there's a magnetic constant that's the same everywhere in the universe. Next comes the particle's charge. If a particle has no charge, like a neutron, then it does not create a magnetic field by moving. Next comes the particle's velocity. The faster the particle moves, the greater a magnetic field it creates. Next, we divide by the square of the distance between the charged particle and the location where we're measuring the magnetic field. We'll call this location the observation point in our code. Lastly, we need to determine the direction of the magnetic field at the observation point using a type of multiplication called the cross product. We're going to take the cross product of the particle's velocity with the direction from the charged particle to the field point. The cross product takes in two vectors and produces a third vector that points at a right angle to the first two. vPython has a built-in cross product which we will use to carry out this multiplication. Here we create a single proton which will be the source of our magnetic field as it moves across the screen. Next we create eight observation points where we'll display the magnetic field vectors. Remember, the magnetic field exists everywhere. These are just the points where the field will be drawn. Finally, we set up an animation loop where we move the proton along a path at constant velocity and then adjust the size and direction of each magnetic field vector based on the proton's position. As the proton moves forward, the magnetic field vectors get stronger until the proton passes these points and the magnetic field drops off. Notice that the field vectors form a loop around the proton's velocity vector since the cross product always gives a vector perpendicular to the velocity. You can add as many observation points as you like just by copying, pasting, and modifying the arrows already included in the code. You can also adjust the motion of the proton to make the magnetic field vectors behave differently. You have now learned how to model the magnetic field of a moving charged particle. Follow the link in the description below to find a set of activities to help you learn more about magnetic fields.